Excuse me, what casual outfit? Oh yes, this is my casual outfit. What are you talking about? Hello my beautiful darlings, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day and thank you for watching. Today we're going to talk about the femme fatale. This video is about some seduction tips that we can take from this amazing character that is the femme fatale. Of course we're going to take only the positive here and only know what makes her so iconic and irresistible. All of the femme fatale from the 40s, the 50s and even the femme fatale nowadays, what make them so irresistible some seduction tips some really flirting tips that we can take from them so if you want to be a femme fatale and know how to master the art of seduction keep on watching but first just wanted to let you know that if you want to see more of my content subscribe down below also follow me on my instagram which is at lisa Hardstyle. so today i put on my gloves and my dramatic outfit because we talk about this amazing character that is the femme fatale and i know that on youtube not a lot of people are talking about the femme fatale but in france we love our femme fatale we love monica bellucci that's why we love her she's very much a femme fatale so if you're wondering what's a femme fatale then let me explain to you this is the kind of woman that is so charismatic very seductive woman very confident a dreamlike woman any man would want to have her i could have you just part fascinate me when she's walking around when she's walking somewhere you can absolutely see her a woman that you see and that you never forget she has a dream like silhouette and anybody type can have a dream like silhouette okay she has a big amount of charisma a presence that would make anyone pale a femme fatale is a combination of two factors her physical characteristic and her mental characteristic because the femme fatale is not just a beautiful woman okay a femme fatale is mainly magnetic through her charisma and personality. We want to learn more about the power of attraction of this mythical character. He has this aura of femininity and sensuality that is exuding of her. She has a beautiful style and as you can see also with Monica Bellucci, it's not just because she's beautiful, it's because she's exuding something that we all wonder what it is and that made her so iconic. She mastered the art of femininity. Just like also Rita Hayworth in the movie Gilda. And I did a video about Gilda. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to link it below. You have also Jessica Rabbit, very, very, very famous femme fatale. And all of those femme fatale from the 40s making an incredible first impression when they arrive in a room. Gilda, are you decent? Me? Sure, I'm decent. And they have this incredible presence and they make men feel weak. She's such a mystery, so fascinating. She masters her feminine power. The sensuality of a feminine woman is the most powerful thing that exists. Because after all, all men become weak in front of such a seductive and feminine woman. I don't care who you are or what you are. All I know is... What? I love you. You'll never go out of my life. I'll never let you go. She's a mythical character that attracts all of the attention on her. I suppose I don't have to tell you how beautiful you look. Half the people at that table are still watching you. Her confidence is so strong, she let the men know that she is extremely desirable and that men would die to be with her. I want you to like him. You sure about that? What do you mean? He's a very attractive man, if you like the type. She is never arrogant or mean. On the contrary, she makes people feel good around her. 
A femme fatale is also a woman who feels good in her own body, with physical assets, an attitude that is both mysterious and sensual, without vulgarity, a striking personality, and a truly glamorous look. What makes her so irresistible as well is her ability to put forward her femininity and to showcase her femininity without, without showcasing her fragility. The seductive woman is feminine, sociable, gifted for discussion, and has a certain ease. Without being vulgar or playing the perfect woman, the femme fatale knows how to create an emotional or even love bond by simply making herself desired. She does everything with balance and knows how to become more distant when she needs to. So what kind of outfit does she like? What is her style? Her style is very much tight dresses to showcase her beautiful body and very much red. Red and black are her favorite color. Very much sensual. And as you can see this dress is very much the typical attire of a femme fatale. Red accentuating all of the curves and everything and long, you know. She loves showcasing a little bit of skin but not too much. Always very tasteful and elegant. I notice that most femme fatales love to showcase some cleavage but their dresses are Actually, very long. You don't. You never see a femme fatale with a short dress. You always see a femme fatale with either a midi dress or a maxi dress. You know, a very long gown. Uh, always very glamorous and the old glamorous style with the old long dresses and some gloves, obviously. <laughs> if I put everything at once but I love this I love this old movie kind of way of you know um, dressing if I could dress like this every day I would she's beautiful yes black and red are her favorite color I obviously put on this also to be more dramatic and looking like a villain from a Disney movie or something. She's also wearing emerald, burgundy, navy blue, all of those beautiful colors but darker colors. It shows that you can wear darker colors and you not automatically have to wear pink to be feminine. She likes nice bag, nice taste, refined taste. She loves jewelry. Diamonds, diamonds are girls. Best friend. She's always walking in such a beautiful way like a siren. She has impeccable taste and she exudes good, good taste refinement she has such luxurious taste you know that's why in those kind of movies she's always attracted to very rich men very powerful men because she has excellent taste and excellent taste costs money <laughs> listen honey with your looks you don't have to worry why you can get the youngest and the best looking man on the river i don't want the youngest i want the richest if she would have to opt for a time period to dress, it would be definitely the old Hollywood kind of way of dressing, the 40s, the 50s, they always had those beautiful gowns and you can even wear sparkle, I love in Gilda, she's wearing sparkly dresses, always fitting her feminine figure very very nicely, always dressing for her body shape, always dressing to accentuate everything about her always making her look fabulous beautiful gowns i can never get a zipper to close maybe that stands for something what do you think always fitted always fitted clothes very very nicely made nice fabric always very expensive looking and have a refined taste always very tasteful she also have a very very nice smell the femme fatale always smell good and a femme fatale always have one particular smell, one particular perfume and when she's walking around you can sense it, you can wow, you're hypnotized by her scent. Personally I love the perfume from J'adore from Dior. It's very much intense feminine scent. I also love the Chanel number no. 5, it's a classic, it's also very elegant. I must say that a femme fatale loves classics, she loves the classics, she loves wearing classic dresses, classic perfume, anything that just good taste and timeless. She's a woman that evolves in a rich environment and that's why she has such a luxurious refined taste. She loves the finer things in life, she loves the luxury, she loves the taste, she loves everything that's just fabulously made, you know, she loves eating well. I haven't got a yacht or a pearl necklace or a fur coat or a country seat or even a winter seat. I could use a new girdle too. 
I wish I could give you some of the things you need. She has such a luxurious lifestyle, but at the same time, you don't know about it, you know? She's not bragging about it in any way. She's very much mysterious, low-key, very much mysterious about it. And that's her mystery that make her look so iconic. She doesn't talk that much about her private life. Everything stays private and mysterious. Normally, a femme fatale is using her sensuality and femininity to manipulate men. It has been the story of the femme fatale in the 40s, 50s and I'm not saying you should do that I'm saying you should just always take the beautiful aspect of a femme fatale but not not the, the aspect that we don't like and obviously she was portrayed like this in those movies because at that time in the 40s women were starting to be more independent because after the war women were wanted to work because they started to work during the war and now they want to work they want to continue it so they want to be more independent and have their own money and men didn't really like this they didn't want it that they didn't want a woman to be that independent and so that's why the housewife and the cute little housewife cooking was just really really put really forward in terms of advertising and that's why it's because they were afraid of the woman being too independent and not needing men afterwards it was very much them being afraid <laughs> and so that's why they portrayed those women uh, femme fatale femme fatale is very much independent and she She's not desperate for men, she's not desperate for the attention of a man. She is uh, most of the time having multiple men after her. Your young man, is he too or not? He's not my young man. You know, the expression on his face says that he wishes he were. She is really not desperate. So they portrayed her as like, no, you don't want to be like this. Be the housewife. Be the housewife. Don't be the independent femme fatale woman. She's mean. No, 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 no. That's what they were doing in the 40s. And um, that's why they portrayed femme fatale as, you know, mean. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. Femme fatale represents the society's fear of woman's femininity and the power that can give femininity to a woman. The ultimate seductress is always seen as somehow performing a spell on men like a supernatural creature or a witch. Because those women exude an irresistible charm and attract the best quality men. But the femme fatale they refuse to let men control their sexuality, their independence. To be a femme fatale, I'm not saying you should not be a housewife or you should not be this or that. You can be anything you want nowadays. It was just in the 40s and the 50s. But nowadays you can take some little things from the femme fatale and you know put it into your seduction techniques because they have incredible seduction techniques that can, we can take in our personal life and use it a little bit you know you don't have to act with me steve you don't have to say anything and you don't have to do anything not a thing oh maybe just whistle you know how to whistle don't you steve you just put your lips together and blow the femme fatale have high standards. The man always have to prove himself to her. She mostly make them feel like she is out of their league. She make them feel like they have to work. Like she is never fully acquired by the man. She let the man understand indirectly that she can always find better. Deep down, men want a woman that they can prove themselves to. In that way, they feel validated and admired by an extraordinary woman, a woman that has standards. She is not easy to have. That adds to her value. In that way, she becomes an irresistible challenge. I decided I truly want you. So brace yourself. The chase is on. You can chase me all you want, but trust me. I'm way too fast for you. Bruno? I'm gonna marry that girl. She knows how to make men feel valued, seen, and important. She make a man feel like he is the most important and extraordinary man on the planet. They feel validated by high-quality feminine women. 
she's talks with confidence and still positive still having humor she's very much sarcastic what did you say to him i just told him if a man answers hang up wasn't that all right you can't talk to men down here the way you would at home they don't understand it understand what they think you mean it mean what doesn't it bother you at all that you're married what i want to know is does it bother you men would follow her anywhere in the world she's playful and she does have a big sense of humor it's like nothing is bothering her she's always calm and playful she never really gets angry she never let people see the things that affect her she has this aura of mystery as well as i was saying you don't really know what's going on in her life that make her even more mysterious who are you i must know isn't it obvious not to me you meet me at the house of the Grand Duchess. What were you doing there? You meet me at five o'clock. And at ten minutes past five, I agree to dine with you. She does not compete with other women at all. She very much knows her value. She knows that if a man is not interested, then let him be, let him go. She is not jealous of other women. Other women are not competition. They are allies. She is able to create good friendships with women because she is very charismatic. That type of confidence, you're such a powerful feminine woman, you don't need to prove anything to men. You don't need to chase men. You don't need to pay for them. You don't need to beg for, them, for their attention. At the same time, of course you want a man. Of course you want a nice partner. Of course you want a nice gentleman. That's completely natural as a human being to want to be with someone. But you're never desperate. A fan that is never desperate. You know her value. You just want to be pleasant, beautiful and confident. You don't want to absolutely show that you need attention from men. You should feel like a goddess, ladies. That men have to meet your standards. Otherwise, you can find many men that are better. A femme fatale is not desperate. You don't want to, to have this desperate vibe because I just noticed that nowadays women are more and more desperate. You know, femme fatale is not. She's playing with her eyes. She knows that she is charming. She's very much confident beautiful and still feminine and soft. She does not need to be aggressive in her tone, in her mannerism. She does not need to get angry. She is very much hmm, pleasant. And if you don't like it, it's too bad for you. I don't make any rules, Nick. I go with the flow. She's having this vibe, this aura. I'm confident in my own skin. But not this confidence that we see nowadays. This confidence of, you have to be a boss, you have to be masculine. This masculine confidence. I think that most of the time nowadays in movies, they just portray confidence as more masculine and aggressive when actually a femme fatale is portraying a confidence that is way more feminine and soft and you can see that she is smiling a lot just like in the movie Gilda she's smiling so much she's very playful making jokes you know she is not she's very soft in her way of talking you went to a picture show tonight alone really would you like to know whether i enjoyed it i'm afraid i've never seen one no kidding she is very intelligent and has a lot of culture. She is excellent at making people feel at ease and impressed by what she has to say. Her conversation skills are remarkable and you never get bored with someone like her. Dismiss your vows, your feigned tears, your flattery. For where her heart is hard, they make no battery. As much as example of Femme Fatale, you have of course Rita Hayworth and Gilda. Johnny, this is Gilda. You have, of course, Jessica Rabbit, which is the femme fatale as an animated. Goodbye, Eddie. My offer stands firm. Think about it. You have, of course, Ava Gardner, and I love her. She's fabulous. How wonderful of you. I could never bear to see a man I really care for being hurt. I also love uh, Lauren Becker very very much a femme fatale and very very sensual she knew how to talk to men oh my god what'd you do that for been wondering whether i'd like it what's the decision i don't know yet of course you have malin dietrich she was iconic you're cold frightened 
Of me? Much more serious. I'm frightened of myself. And Veronica Lake with her hair. Her hair very much the femme fatale hair. If you were some big shot like a casting director or something, I'd be staring into your bridge work saying, yes, Mr. Smearcase, no, Mr. Smearcase, not really, Mr. Smearcase. Oh, Mr. Smearcase, that's my knee. So Veronica Lake and Rita Hayworth made the inspiration for Jessica Rabbit and Veronica Lake, uh, her hair were very iconic in the 40s and every woman wanted to have that hair and I just noticed that I actually have her hair <laughs> I have her hairstyle you know this kind of curly bombshell curls with the parting side having the the hair that just fall down like this and they just cover half of your eyes she made that famous she made this hairstyle famous also their their voice their voice are very much lower slower they have a slower tone they're just very much sensual in their tone when you see jessica rabbit she has such a slower lower tone no 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 i love my husband you've got me all wrong you don't know how hard it is being a woman looking the way i do the femme fatale have a lower voice that is more sensual and very soft. Tell me, uh, what do you usually do when you're not working? Mm. Play the horses, fool around. No women? Well, I'm generally working on something most of the time. Could that be stretched to include me? Well, I like you. I told you that before. I like hearing you say it. And of course, this is a seduction tips video, so it's for seduction. It's not for work. I just want to make sure that you understand that you're not going to act like Jessica Rabbit at work because it's going to look weird. For example, the way Jessica Rabbit walk, very slow, very slow, accentuating always bada bim bada boom. Her hips and her chest like this, the stomach like this, and then she walks around. She has her hair like this on the side and she's just walking and looking at you in such a beautiful, sensual way and boom you know <laughs> the same for he rita hayworth when she's dancing you know like she's dancing around like this with her hips the famous hair flip of gilda also i tried to do curls just like the bombshell from the 40s you know just like ooh, ooh. just so just practice in front of your mirror and just you know a practice having those sensual move having those sensual a uh, way of talking, of walking and everything. And just like also Gilda, when she take off her gloves, you know, it's just always very soft. They always have a very soft way of moving. And then you can smile. Of course, you have also the smiles. The smiles is so important. The femme fatale basically have a very strong eye contact. So she's putting her head like this. Angelina Jolie is doing that a lot. And you know, this kind of way of putting your head like this with the eyes that look up, is just very, very, very seductive. And men love it. As a feminine woman, oh, I'm so, I'm so shy. Even though a femme fatale is never shy. But she can use that at her advantage to seduce anybody. And of course, uh, you can have also some tips from the femme fatale when she is asking for things for men, for example. Oh, but like when you want to buy something, when you want to offer me something, I would really, really love this beautiful jewelry. And you can play with that feminine aura and for asking anything glamour isn't about age shape or size you don't have to be pretty to have it anyone can create it just like dita von t said the femme fatale create her own glamour and don't forget the femme fatale is timeless it is not a question of beauty standards youth or body type it is being magnetic and memorable through her personality and extreme confidence she is powerful Look at Marlene Dietrich at 70 years old, still iconic. Look at Monica Bellucci being a James Bond woman at 50, still breathtaking. The charm of a feminine woman is timeless. You really underestimate the power of a feminine woman, more gentle, more soft, lower voice. 
sensual and um, even if you're in a couple you're going to see the difference of being more gentle being more feminine being more soft and when you're more aggressive and you ask for him and you argue with him instead of just you know being more soft being more gentle sensuality is such a big power for women and this is so important so that's it for this video i hope you liked it i hope that it was helpful for you and let me know what kind of content you want to see next if you want to see the icons that i was talking about in this video uh, let me know down below also uh, follow me on my instagram which is at lisa her style and until next time i'm giving you so much kisses Do do do, I'll put the blame on him.